have you ever wondered like how do you inquire about uh, an account balance without running any report or uh, trial balance today i can explain that uh, via oracle gl account inspector you are watching oracle ebs and uh, fusion videos channel and this is arvind varaganti let's get into the details This is the topic which we'll be discussing uh, in today's video, how to use uh, GL account inspector. And this is the navigation GL account dashboard, inquire and analyze balances. So let's get into fusion under GL general accounting, GL accounting dashboard or general accounting dashboard, and then navigate here, inquire and analyze balances. So this is where, uh, you can inquire uh, an account balances using uh, account inspector. So this is a kind of a pivot uh, based uh, tool, I can say, or this particular uh, screen looks like a pivot wherein you can drag and drop different dimensions, whatever is mentioned here. Uh, at least there should be one dimension uh, here and there should be one dimension here. So by default, I can see accounting period is one of the dimension which is mentioned here and account is the another dimension which is mentioned here. So probably what I'll do is I'll just, um, my focus is to maybe get the uh, account balance of, uh, say I have two accounts which has some balance. So I just want to see the account balance of this account 52231 under 003 company. So probably what I'll do is I can click on this drop down. So when you say company, it shows all companies. So I just want to specifically look for a specific company. So maybe just say, equal to and click on search select 003 and click on refresh so these are all the accounts and then let me drag this here and then maybe let me take this out so if you want to get rid of a, a particular dimension then you can drag this oops yeah yeah Okay, so now within this account, I just want to inquire the balance about 52231. And then refresh. So here you can see the balance of 52231 under 003 company for July uh, 2024 period. And if you want to get into the details, click on the hyperlink. It takes you to the next screen. And here you can see for uh, that particular account under uh, G GL, you have uh, under July 2024, you have this particular beginning balance. This is a period activity and this is an ending balance. And if you want to get into further details about the period activity, click on the hyperlink. It will take you to the concerned journal details. And you can again click on the journal, which will take you to the journal line details, which is the lowest level. So this is the lowest level. So yeah, so this is where this particular account was used. So click on cancel, done. And then here again, you have different dimensions. If you want, again, you can uh, change these dimensions and then click on search, click on done. Okay, now let me explain all the dimensions here. So cost center, again, uh, when you say it's specifically, you do not mention any specific cost center, then it considered all the cost centers. Uh, in my current chart of accounts, I have four segments, company, cost center, account, and intercompany. So intercompany is another segment. And this is the ledger. Ledger uh, dropdown will show all the ledgers for which I have access. So for my current uh, users, these are all, I mean, this is the one uh, ledger for which I have an access. And as for the scenarios concerned, you can go for actual versus budget. If there is any budgets, then you can directly select those budgets as well. But again, in my current uh, environment, I do not have any budget. So if I select the budget, so it shows zero. Okay, now let me change it back to actual. Okay. And as far as balance amount is concerned, again, you have uh, drop down from drop down you have different options as far as period activity is concerned you can just say period activity or you might if you are interested you can select only period activity debit period activity credit and you can also see what are all the other 
options available. The total balance amount or beginning balance amount, beginning balance debit, credit, ending balance debit, credit or period activity. And currency, the journals which are entered in a specific currency, say in my current case, uh, all the journals are entered in uh, USD currency. Let's assume if I try to select any other currency, I should see the balance of say zero there. So let me select a currency of say INR. I do not have any journals entered in INR for this particular account. So you should say zero here. Let me put it back to USD. So the good thing is basically when if you want to see such kind of uh, balances in a report, then always you need to uh, go and change the parameters around the report, go and change the parameters around the report. But here uh, on the fly, you can change all these parameters. You just a click of a button, refresh the dashboard gets refreshed automatically and again from a currency type perspective again you have different options whether you are interested in uh, the total balance or whether you are entered in, interested in say entered currency converted currency and uh, so on okay so let me go for only just the total and amount type again you have a couple of options as well as the amount type is concerned check here whether you want to go for a total base or ptd or qtd ytd and so on. So probably if I want to go for say YTT, okay. So the YTT balance is $30,000. So if I click on the hyperlink, it will show you that see here in this case, the beginning balance was 15,000. In, so in June, there was 15,000 balance. And then again, in July, there is 15,000 balance and hence the YTT is $30,000. And again, if you want, you can see the data for a specific account for all the accounts. So this is the beauty of the uh, account uh, inspector wherein uh, you can change the page level dimensions and on the fly, you should be able to see the corresponding numbers being displayed on the dashboard. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on Oracle Fusion and uh, EBS. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, Click on the bell icon to get the notifications for the latest videos. Thank you.